video, I am going to be doing another clothing haul. I know I do so many. Today's one, I have basically picked out clothes that I see a lot of Instagram models wear. And I thought I would try and like put the outfits together, wear them myself, realistically see how wearable they actually are or if people just do it for the photos because admittedly sometimes I've seen something and I'm like, I just want to take a photo with it. Like I don't think I could wear it. This stuff here is from Boohoo and Pretty Little Thing. So it's very affordable. A lot of the stuff I see online is from places like that or it's from like Zara. It's from, well, some people can go extra out there and go with like the Gucci and the Balmain and you know, but a little bit over our price tag. So I've gone for the affordable high street shops to show you guys some Instagrammable clothes and I really like them. I haven't actually tried any of these on yet. So I'm basically just going to do my first impressions on them. And then obviously this is a try on haul as well. But I hope you guys enjoy and let's just get started. So the first outfit I decided to get was something that I've seen a lot of people wear, not necessarily this pattern, but I've seen a lot of people wear this style of top. And a lot of people wear these like bandeau kind of crop tops type thing. And I really wanted to get one. So I've got one from Pretty Little Thing and this is a snake print one. I've seen quite a few people wear this. Now I don't really go for animal prints normally, personally, like the cheetah print and like those type of prints just aren't for me. I really don't like them. But then I kind of saw this and like, you know when you see something out of the ordinary and you think, I like that. That's kind of what happened with this. It was really inexpensive as well. It was either six or eight pounds. It's basically just a snake skin bandeau top and I really really like this. Now I do struggle wearing bandeau tops just because I do have one bigger boob so it can kind of look strange and most people do actually wear these without a bra. I think I'll be wearing mine with a bra and I'll just use a strapless bra but I really like it actually and I think it will look quite nice on. This is the top when I've got it on. I really really like it. As you can probably see I do have one bigger boob and I didn't think it would be that noticeable if I wore it with a bra. It is still noticeable so I guess I just need to find the right bra for it but you know what? Embrace what you've got. I think it's a really nice top though. It fits in really nicely. The pattern is printed really, really nice. It doesn't look cheap at all. And I feel like it looks really good with this, what I'm wearing as well. I do feel very supported in it. Obviously, I've got a bra on, so you don't have to wear it with a bra. But I just see so many people wear these on Instagram and they look amazing. And I wish I could really, really, really pull them off. So I'm going to give this a thumbs up. And yeah, I can actually see how people wear this on Instagram because it's really comfy. And if I can find the right bra to wear it with, so my boobs don't look lopsided, I'm definitely gonna wear it and to go with this i've seen loads of people wear these as well i got a basic black midi skirt and now again you would never catch me in a skirt i just don't know if they suit me i don't know how comfortable i feel in them to be honest like there's a lot of clothes that i'd love to wear but i go for comfort more over than fashion i much prefer to feel really cozy in my trousers than go out in a skirt that i don't feel comfortable in but i really want to kind of like broaden my horizon and try new clothes so i got this black midi skirt this was either eight or twelve pounds although i think it might have been eight pounds and there's not really much I can say about this until I try it on really. It's just a long black tight skirt. We might have the issue with it being see-through. Um, yeah, I think it might be a little bit see-through. I also forgot to mention this top was from Pretty Little Thing and so was the bandeau top. So this outfit was from Pretty Little Thing and in total cost no more than £15 and I actually think it'll be a really nice outfit when I've got it on. My head is going to be a little bit chopped off so I do apologise but I've got on the skirt and again I love this. I think it looks really nice with the outfit. It's very flattering all the way around it's not actually that see-through it's a little bit see-through but it's not that see-through and it just goes you know like just below my knee I'll put in a shot so you guys can see that but it's really comfy for eight pounds I really don't think you can complain and I really want to get one in more colors again I can easily see how people wear this on Instagram because it's so comfy you can move in it you can do whatever you want in it do you know what I mean basically it's a really nice purchase and I feel like you can wear a lot with this and you can style it in many different ways you can dress it down with trainers but you can dress it up with heels and you can wear it in the day, in the evening. So basically you can wear this with loads of different things. So 100% this is getting a hit from me and I would definitely recommend it. The next thing that I've got, I saw somebody called, I think her name is Lissy Roddy or Lissy Lissy, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I literally fell in love with her Instagram as soon as I saw it and her outfits are just incredible. You guys need to check her out. And she had this shirt on from Boohoo, but she wears it in so many different ways. And I've seen a lot of people style this shirt as well. It's been on Boohoo for ages and it's just kind of like one of those things that if you wouldn't like dig deep into boohoo you wouldn't find it 
it's this ribbed shirt but it's like a thick ribbed and it's really really nice it's got pockets here it's really long and then the edging is all like rough and hemmed which i really like and they do this in several different colors but i got mine in the creamy color because that's what she had it in and she's worn it as a dress she's worn it as a jacket she's worn it like with cycle shorts i think it looks so cool and i've seen a lot of people style it this was 22 pounds which personally i don't think is that bad considering you can wear it and style it in so many different ways and people wouldn't necessarily think it's the same thing for instance if you wore it as a dress and then the next day you wore it as a jacket people would probably think it's a different item of clothing so it's really versatile and i would definitely get lots of wear out of this and by the way mine is in a size small or it's a six yeah mine's a six and it's very long either i would go a size down or i would go just your size definitely would not go a size up because my thinking was if i want to wear it as a jacket do i go one size up but then it actually says on here oversized for this shirt i actually definitely prefer wearing it as a jacket over a dress i thought that i might prefer wearing it as a dress but no i think a jacket is definitely the best option it looks really good when you're hanging it off your shoulders and i like the ribbed effect of it and again it looks really nice with this t-shirt as well i feel like if i wore it as a dress personally for me it would make me look a little bit too boxy and make me just look like straight you know what i mean like it just wouldn't suit me but wearing it as a jacket i think it looks really nice and then i can obviously just pull it up on my shoulder and then again it just looks like a normal oversized shirt i like the edging of it a lot i like how it's really rough it's really like just the basically the loose seams and i think it's a really nice shirt actually so again i really like all the clothes in this haul i can 100 percent see why for 22 pounds you get this shirt because it's very versatile and for some people it will suit them as wearing it as a dress as well and just as a normal shirt so definitely recommend this i really like this top i've seen so many people wear it on instagram and it's so inexpensive it's 10 pounds and it's just a white top but they also do it in black and it's just got writing on it that says weekend tees beverly hills estate 2012 and i thought this was a really nice top i love my slogan tops i wear them all the time i have so many in my wardrobe already the perfect thing is as well i got this in a size medium so i can wear it as a t-shirt and tuck it in but it's actually long enough for me to be able to wear it as a dress as well so again i feel like i've killed two birds with one stone here and i can get two different outfits out of this i actually prefer wearing it as a dress over a t-shirt because i did get mine in a size medium which i presumed would be better because i thought yeah it'll be oversized but it's actually an oversized t-shirt anyway so i definitely would have been fine with getting a small because i'm only five foot five ish i prefer wearing it as a dress because it comes up as the perfect length for me as a t-shirt dress and normally t-shirt dresses when i actually order them as a dress from the dress section are too boxy but because this is an actual t-shirt it just flows and it looks so nice also how cool does it look with these sunglasses i'm like okay now i feel like an instagram model i think it's really really nice it's really comfy as i said well it's just a t-shirt i basically feel like i'm about to go to bed so it's really really nice i love this so much and 100 percent i can see why loads of people have this on instagram and the other thing that i got is some trousers and again i've seen a lot of people kind of rock the pinstripe look and i wanted to get on that trend you know i like the pinstripes so i got these gray pinstripe trousers these are a pretty little thing they were 20 pounds now mine are in a size six but when i tried them on i I feel like they were a bit too big for me that's never happened to me before normally size six is perfect to me but these are quite big and they're stretchy personally i would go a size down as well because the legs are actually very baggy i had the impression from the website that they were going to be super tight fitting on my leg which i was really looking forward to and then you can kind of like roll them up at the bottom and it will look really sophisticated or you can roll them down it will look really cool and then when it arrived and i first of all like looked at them i was like wow okay these are a little bit big and then i did so obviously i'm still going to wear them and stuff because i do like them but i just definitely go a size down to what you usually are so i've got on my top which is from pretty little thing i've got on my trousers again which are from pretty little thing and then i've also got my blazer from i saw it first and we are now going to head to the game of thrones event so let's go She looks insane! We are on our way to the Game of Thrones. What is it exactly? So it's a screening. I'm you explain. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, my name is Sue. You might know me for leaving some of the most successful programmes on television. 
Next, I got these two tops, which again, I've seen so many people wear on Instagram. I've seen Lissy Roddy wear it. I've seen Fashion in Flux wear it. I've seen lots of people wear them. And these are from Boohoo. And like I said, I never normally shop on Boohoo, but it just, it took my heart this time. They're just these little like square neck, thin strapped crop tops. And they've just got this repeating pattern of what looks like a W. Yeah, it's actually a W. I was going to say it's a V, but no, it's a W. And it's just why I really, really like this. I think it's really nice. It's a perfect size for me. And I got mine in a size six and it fits over my boob perfectly and yeah I really do like this I really am getting into the square crop tops more I used to be like no I need to wear thick sleeves on my crop tops but I'm getting into this a lot more and it's a little bit higher and then it just goes a little bit lower at the back as you can see and this was only six pounds and then to go with it I actually got the reversible bodysuit I'm saying reversible I mean like reversible colors because this time it's black with the white color on it but again exactly the same pattern this time this is a bodysuit so I'll probably just wear wear this with like jeans or cycle shorts and maybe like the shirt thing that I bought I thought this was really nice and this one was either 10 or 12 pounds or maybe it was even 8 pounds I feel like it actually was 8 pounds but yeah I really really liked this I thought it was really nice it is a little bit see-through but then I haven't worn the black one yet so when you hold it up into the light yeah I don't know maybe I just need to wear a black bra with it I've decided to try on the bodysuit over the crop top as I have actually already tried on the crop top and it fits me perfectly it's basically exactly the same as this just without the bodysuit part so I thought I'd try on the bodysuit one and it's so so comfy and because it's a bodysuit I can wear it with this skirt and you won't notice that I might have a visible pant line because obviously it's the bodysuit so this is really comfy though obviously I have got a bra on with it and it's a really tight bra so I probably wouldn't wear a bra with this top I'd probably go without a bra or maybe just get some sort of bralette because obviously you can see the straps because it's a square neck crop top and I don't really like when you can see the straps I think it kind of looks a bit weird so I've only just kept a bra on for the purpose of this video so you don't see my nipple a hundred percent this is getting a hit and I can definitely see why a lot of people on Instagram have this because it's so comfy and I really really do like it so actually even though I never used to shop on boohoo I'm definitely gonna start to go there more often because their stuff is good and then me being a little bit extra i got some sunglasses that i thought were really really cool i've seen loads of people wear them and i'm like and says you're not cool enough to pull them off but you're gonna buy them anyway these are ridiculously extra and i don't know if i'd wear them like all the time when i'm out i'd more wear them just for a fashion statement but they're these and they were 10 pounds which i do feel like was a little bit expensive for what they are but they're these really thin framed sunglasses and they kind of just sit on the edge of your nose like that so i mean don't get me wrong they look cool but they're definitely not going to block out the sun apart from the label that's really killing the vibe i do really like these and i think in like again like a photo i am acting like instagram but in a photo these would look really good and i actually do really like them obviously they've got uv protection but when you push them right up onto your eyes are they literally look like that and they won't go on because of my eyelashes so yeah i mean i really like them i think they're really nice and I actually will wear these. I'm going to pop them on my little grid back there on my dressing table. And then I'm excited to add them to the collection. Yeah, I like them. Oh, God. And then I actually decided to get another few things from Pretty Little Thing. And these are the last two things that I got. So the first thing is a skirt. Because, again, never normally wear skirts. But really want to get into them more. So this is the grey pinstripe tie waist mini skirt. And it's the, exactly the same grey pinstripe as the other one. And then it's just like a tight mini skirt, like it said. And then it's just got the little tie bits here which you can tie into a bow at the front and I'm actually planning on wearing this to the blogosphere awards because I am up for best vlogger so if I win oh. but yeah I'm really excited to wear this out I think it's a really nice skirt actually and yeah I actually really like this and now I've got the skirt on and again I love this so much it's just the grey pinstripe it's really flattering because it goes tight around this area I thought it was going to be a bit like a pencil skirt and just kind of go straight and then obviously you've got this little bit which you can tie into a bow here you don't have to wear the belt as well you can take it out and you could put any belt in that you want which i think is really nice because how good would this look with the gucci belt but it's really like shape hugging as well it's really nice it kind of shows off your figure and i got mine in a size six which is my normal size so i just get your normal size for this it does fit me perfect lengthwise as well and it doesn't rise up when i'm walking which is nice i thought the material might slide up on my legs and then kind of like end up showing everything but when i'm walking it just stays in the same place which i love like i said i'm just never normally a skirt girl but I can 100% see why people want to wear skirts because I for sure I'm going to be investing in like loads more skirts I love them and then to wear with that I got something that I see so many 
many people wear on Instagram. And it's like a petite stone high neck curve hem jumper. When I ordered this, I had the impression it was going to be really thick and it's not. And I'm so happy. I can see it's actually like a thin knit jumper. I see so many people wear these with layered necklaces, even in the summer with cycle shorts. And I think it looks so cool. Also, I keep talking about cycle shorts, but I haven't actually bought any. It's because I have some in my wardrobe already. I was believe me, they would be all over this haul. So this is the jumper. It's really, really nice. It's got like the curved hem. This is the front. So it like curves down and then the back is just straight. It's just the stone type colour and it's got a high neck here. And I think this will look really nice with the skirt actually. So I'm very excited to try this on. I like it. I mean, it looks quite small, but then I guess that'll mean it'll be very tight fitting. This jumper is actually going to be one of my favourite jumpers because it's really thin. It's not thick at all. And I love this little like curvy hem bit. Obviously I've got it tucked in, but it's just like a hem that kind of goes low and then the back actually goes higher so it's really really comfy so many people wear jumpers like this i'm like where have you got that from and finally i found one i do actually have a thick version of this but sometimes it can get too thick and obviously in the summer and stuff british summer is very unpredictable so having a thin jumper is always a kind of good option but it's so comfy and i love the neck as well i've just rolled it down a little bit because it does come up quite high on me but again i can see why so many people like to wear these jumpers because they're so comfy not gonna lie i am really hot but maybe that's because i've got like my studio lights like blinding on me but yeah i am very hot but maybe on a muggy day like it is today if you go outside the sun's not really out then this would be perfect for summer maybe going into autumn We've just opened the little like booklets that we've been given on our table and it says the Bloggers Fair Awards 2018 and then this is the page that I've been nominated on and these are all the people in my category and it's sponsored by World Duty Free which is so cool. Anastasia. of this video i really hope you guys have enjoyed seeing me do another clothing haul i know i do so many clothing hauls but i have a bit of an obsession with clothes i thought it would be really helpful though because i know so many people go on instagram they see loads of clothes the person never tags what they're wearing and where it's from so i just thought i would find some really cool items that i thought you guys might like and i'm going to leave all the links down below so you can go and buy them if you want to and i really like them and you definitely will be seeing them all over my instagram so just plug in my instagram to go follow but thank you so much for watching i really hope you guys have enjoyed if you did please smash a huge thumbs up let's see if we can smash 10,000 likes on this video and other than that i will see you on wednesday at 6 p.m for a brand new one bye